Hi there, I'm Chef Gail Gay and I'm a pastry chef, partner at True and Spritzburger. I'm an author and you might know me from my long running TV show Sweet Dreams on Food Network. What happened was I was a waitress at a vegetarian restaurant. Like after school, you know, I was in college all day and then I'd work at night for the free meal of it. You know, you get family meal, you get paid, you know, lousy, but you get this free meal. And I was a waitress at this vegetarian restaurant and one day one of the line cooks did a no show, no call. And my manager looked at me and said, Gail, can you cook? And I said, no, I, you know, I can't cook. I'm from the North Shore of Chicago. We make reservations. And she threw an apron at me and she said, you can cook now, get in the kitchen. And I was, you know, completely terrified. I, I knew the menu by heart because I was, I give great waitress. <laughs> so I know like what had sesame oil in it and what was steamed. And, you know, but I'd never actually cooked it. So I get in the kitchen, I'm terrified for like the first six seconds of it. And then second number seven, and I get choked up every time I tell this story, I have this funny sense of calm come over me, like I had found my home, like, like I was speaking a language that I don't remember really learning, but I was completely fluent in it. My grandma Jenny came over here from Budapest. She brought three things. She brought her children, and one was my grandpa George. She brought eight dollars and four cents, and she brought a rolling pin. So that's the genetics I come from. It, I mean, you know, it's no mystery that I'm a pastry chef. One of all her belongings, you know, that she could have brought with, she brought her rolling pin. So I come from this line of Hungarian bakers. My grandma was a baker. My mother was a pie maker. So I did, you know, just baking at home with my family. And food had a, you know, very significant meaning growing up. My mother was Jewish, and you know, food was love. And uh, so basically I'm in the business of love right now because <laughs> I'm in the food business. I love it more all the time. When I first got into it, it was, you know, the chemistry and the physics and the physical dance of it, the creativity of it. But then as I go on in my career and I become a restaurateur, then it's, you know, the entertainment of it, the nurturing of my staff the um, you know the, the buzz of the dining room and sort of the ebb and flow of a dining room there's so many parts to it and it's so complicated and then I get to do television I get to teach I get to write I get to you know work at a farm and you know use ingredients that they grow every day and spontaneously make stuff so I just haven't really found the limit of creativity within the field 